Hello guys, welcome back to Modern Web Channel. In today's video, we'll learn to create this awesome music player. As you can see we have a song name here, with artist name also. After that, we have a circular song cover, song slider, and controls. This player doesn't have some advanced features that we have made in previous music player. Because the main focus of the video is to create animations. Notice here, when I click on play button, the play button is changing to pause button and the disc is rotating. When we pause the music, we got the smooth transition between button, the disc stopped rotating. And if you notice we have a pulse effect started on the play button. So in this video we'll make this music player working with these cool animations. Now let's see this in full working. So, before starting this tutorial, if you are new to the channel or haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe the channel for more upcoming awesome projects. And don't forget we have to achieve 5k subs till this month. And also if you can support me on Patreon and buy me a coffee it would be very appreciable. That really motivates me to make these awesome videos. We'll create this project next. You can see the project demo. It's a visiting card designer. So if you don't want to miss this, make sure to subscribe right now. So without wasting more time, let's start the video. For this music player, we have images folder containing all the images, music folder containing all the musics, and we have app.js file for JavaScript, data.js contains all the music data, index.html is of course for web page, and style.css for CSS styles. This is our data.js file, you can see the music data structure. We have songs arrays, contains 5 music.js objects. Every object has name, artist, cover, and song path detail. Now as we have seen the folder structure and the data file. We can start coding the player now. Start by basic HTML template. Give a title to the page. Link style.css file along with app.js file. Now just create a container here and give it a class music player. Well, of course we'll not see anything, because we haven't created anything. So let's style the page. Star selector is used to select all the elements at once. It's good practice to set each element's margin, padding to zero at start. Give body a minimum width and height, so we can easily use flexbox here, to align the player at the center. Justify content align the content in horizontal axis, and align items align the item in vertical axis. Here, I am using Roboto font, but note that I have locally installed Roboto font. For you to use this, you have to import it from the Google. Give width height to music player. Set its background to transparent white color. Use box shadow to create shadow around the player. Give some padding also. Use overflow hidden to hide overflow if any and set text color at last. You can see our music player here.
Inside Music Player Element, create H1 element for song name and P element for artist name. Copy song name class and style it. Use comma to give same styles to more than one element. Align the text in center. Use text transform property to capitalize the text. Now that was common styles. Select the elements separately now. And style them. Give font size, font weight, and margin bottom to the music name. And for artist just set is font size. Now create the disk in the center, for that create a div element. Style it. Give position to relative because we'll make an absolute element inside this. Display block and margin auto property, we'll make the disk in the center in X axis. Give it a width and height. Set border radius to 50% for circle shape. Use background image property to set image. Background size cover will ensure that image is covering whole element. Use box shadow to create a transparent circle outside the disk. Use disk before pseudo element to create a hole at the center. Content property is very important here, without it the element will not create. Position absolute, top to 50%, and left to 50%, this is the another way to center an absolute element. Give width, height and border radius to it. Give the same background color as background. Now we have to create the slider for that. Make a div with class song slider. And inside this, create range slider input, set its value to zero. Give relative position to it, with 100% width. WebKit appearance none, will remove all the default the range style done by browser. Give it width, height, border radius. Cursor pointer property, give you hand cursor when hover the element. WebKit slider thumb, this will select the head of the slider. Again remove the default styles done by browser.
Set its width, height. Use box shadow to create different color on the left side. Just add overflow hidden to range slider. Reduce the width to 1 pixel. Make two span elements. One for current time, and second for song duration. Change their font size to 14 pixel. To make duration at right, give it an absolute position. Set right to zero. Make controls. Inside this, make a button. Why button? Because you can access button with keyboard also. Inside the button make two spans. We'll make the pause icon with CSS. Give width to the controls. Use flexbox here to align the buttons. Margin Auto will make the control in center. And give some top margin also. Set its position to relative as will give absolute position to span. Give it width, height, border radius. Give cursor to pointer. Now style the span elements. Give position to absolute. Give top and left property to align it inside the button. Give transition for smooth effect. Nth child is used to select nth number of element. Select second span here. Change its left value. And set its transform origin to center. Give different style to span when having pause. Here scale Y the span down to zero. Making it fully disappear. If you add pause class to the button, you'll see the span is scaling down.
Great, now we have to make first span expand. For that, we'll use clip path. Open this site. This is clip path generator. With the help of this, we'll generate clip path code. Select four side shape. Because our span is a rectangle, drag all the points to the corner and copy the below code. Paste it as a default clip path to the first span. Now select first span when having pause class. Change its width, height, position. Now make a play shape here. Copy this and paste there. Now if we give pause class to button, it's working. Now make pulse animation for the button. Use box shadow here to create the pulse effect. Now create backward and forward buttons. Style them. Give width, height and border radius. Use Flexbox to align the image in center. Give border none to remove border. Change its width to 60% and set justify content to space between. We are almost done with the styling. Now make rotate animation for the disc. Use transform rotate here to make rotating animation. In the disk part, set rotate animation.
You can see it's running. But we don't want it to rotate when pause. For that, set its default animation play state to pause. Animation play state is used to set animation state. Now it is paused. Set it play state to running when having play class. Now add play class to disk. Our styling and animations are done. Now it's time for JS. Before writing JS, we need an audio source for music. For that make audio element at the very top. Now open app JS file. Current music variable will store current playing music index. Select the audio source here using query selector method. After that, select all the elements that need behaviors. Select all the elements with query selector method. Once you are done selecting the elements, add click event to play button. Inside this, toggle the play button class. and also toggle the disk class. Now make set music function to set up the music. Inside this, first set seek bar value to zero. Then access the song data from songs array. Don't forget to add data.js file inside index.html before app.js. If you insert it after app.js, you'll not able to access data. Now set current music to I. 
as we got the song data. Now, set music or audio elements source. Then set song name elements inner HTML. And do the same for artist name element. After that set disk elements background image using style method. Call the function at last with zero as a argument. Again inside the function, set current music inner HTML to 00. zero. And set seat bar max value to music.duration. For now console.log the music duration. You can see here, NAN what does it mean? It's saying the data is not a number. So how to fix this? To fix this, move this code into a timeout function of after 300 milliseconds. The not a number was coming because in executing there is slight delay when setting up the music source and accessing its duration. Now you are able to see a number here. But this not in the format of minute and seconds, right? For that we have to make another function which will format this. Inside this function, store minimum math dot floor method round off the number, means if we got 2.3 as a result, it will convert it to 2. Divide the time by 60 to get min, as we have 60 minutes in an hour. After that check for, if min is less than 10. Add 0 at the front. Do the same for sec but this time instead to dividing use percentage sign here. This will return the reminder when dividing the values. At last, return the formatted string. Awesome, we got the formatted time. Now inside this play buttons click event, plat and pause the music with this condition. Yes, it's working.
Now we have to make seat bar running. For that, set interval to set seat bar value after every half second. Set seat bar value to music.current time. And set current time .inner HTML to formatted music .current time. After that we want to be able to jump in time. Add change event to seat bar. Inside it just change the value of music.current time. Everything will change automatically. Now the last we have to make, forward and backward buttons function. For that add click event to them. For forward check for this condition. Set current music variable to zero when it the last song. or if not increase it by 1. After that call set music function to set up the music. And click on play button. Just copy this whole event and paste it below. Change forward button to backward button. Change the condition little bit. Well it's not working. This is because I messed up here. Add dot at the beginning here. Now it is working. But you can see the forward and backward is not working perfectly. We want it to always play the song. But it is pausing the song sometime. To fix that, make a function named play music. Inside this, play the music with music.play method. After that, remove pause class from play button and add play class to disk. Now, instead of calling play button.click, just call this function. And the last thing is continuous running. For that go inside the seat bar interval and perform this condition. This simply means when current time equal to seat bar's value execute below codes. Inside this just code forward button dot click. Great job. We are done. Rest. 
So that's it for today guys. Comment down below, how was the tutorial? If you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe my channel for more awesome tutorial. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask me in comments. And don't forget to support me on Patreon and buy me a coffee. Thanks for watching.